Hi everyone. I wanted to talk to you really quickly today about this course I'm going to be teaching for the first time this winter. I think it's going to be cool, so I wanted to tell you why you might want to take it. Compute 412 is about robotics, and there's multiple ways you can teach this kind of class. So for instance, if we were in electrical engineering, we could focus on like sensors and actuators, maybe PID controllers. If we were in ME, we'd definitely be doing PID and maybe doing some industrial robotic programming. Because this is a CS class, instead, we're going to be focusing on more fundamental and AI approaches. Though robotics really can be useful in lots of different places, particularly now that the prices of robotics are going down and the capabilities are increasing. So we're going to see more and more robots used in manufacturing, which has been true for decades, but now doing teleoperation for things like um, search and rescue and used a lot more in agriculture, particularly for dangerous or hard jobs where it's hard to get people to do those jobs. And there's even more innovative ap applications such as in Jaren technology. So for instance, if you can have a robot that allows someone to stay in their home for a few more years, nursing homes can be so expensive that having a pretty expensive robot in your house could more than make up for the cost. Okay, well, very general, high level ideas. What exactly will we be looking at? So first of all, we will be learning ROS, the robot operating system. And then we'll be doing the normal things like sensors and vision, um, some kinematics, locomotion, how do you move? There'll be some stuff with finding yourself, localization, figuring out where you are in the world and how you build a map. And then the more AI type stuff will be more like planning and search. Um, we'll do some reinforcement learning and also do some multi-robot stuff. Okay, great, but we're in the middle of a pandemic. Do I have to come into class? No. So everything is gonna be in, in simulation. This is not ideal. I really like teaching robotics in a way that combines simulation and physical robots. Simulation is never 100% perfect, and there's always new and interesting ways that robots will break when you try to use them in the real world. But for this semester, everything will be online. And there should be an option that if you wanted to, you could purchase a robot, but it's not going to be anything that's required. So some of the goals of the class. I mean, the main thing is I want to get students excited about robots and to understand why if you wanted to go to grad school and learn more about it, or if you wanted to join a robotics company after undergrad, why that would be awesome. At the same time, robotics can be super painful. There are always things that go wrong. It can be extremely frustrating. Sometimes you put in long hours and that's going to be part of the class. So my understanding is that in the past, the instructor would often start by saying, you don't want to take this class, it's too hard. This class will be a lot of time. It will be hard at part in parts, but I do believe it's going to be worthwhile, both in terms of you learning a lot and because it should be fun if we do this right. Okay, well, how am I going to actually assess whether you're learning? Well, there's going to be some uh, in-class quizzes, which will be very low weight, then there's kind of three levels of um, uh, things we ask you to do. The first one is what we're calling an exercise. So this is basically going to be follow some directions and get something working. So this is pretty simple, just getting you used to very basic stuff. Then once you're able to do that, we'll move on to a lab. So a lab will not be just a uh, click. You'll actually have to do some thinking and you'll need to sh demonstrate that you understand the concepts and maybe go beyond what we've actually talked about in lecture. And finally, there will be some competitions. So these should be fun and a cool way to both have fun by competing against the other people in the class, but also trying to come up with some innovative ideas. And I will mention the first two competitions are set. The third competition, we're going to allow you to choose from a few um, topics. So that will be at the end of the class and that'll give you a chance to focus on what you find most interesting. So the technology we're gonna be using, there's a course web website. Um, most of the information will be on there and eClass. 
and everyone loves to hate E-Class, but it is a good way to keep track of everything and submit all your assignments. We will also be using Discord. And Discord, I found, has been a great tool for communication during lectures and also among groups after the class. So one of the things you'll find is when you're working, you're going to have lots of questions. And you can't always rely on the TAs or me to immediately answer. But if you post on Discord, hopefully you will get a response from either the TAs, myself, or another student in the class. And you'll hopefully be happy to know there are no textbooks, so you don't actually have to buy anything. Um, we will have office hours, and there will be a combination of synchronous and asynchronous. So the, the current plan is I'm going to record some lectures. Then, at the class time, we will begin with a quick quiz which should be easy if you've watched the lectures. And then we can go into some discussion and ask questions and um, add, add more to the, to the pre-recorded lecture. Now, I understand that some of you may not be in Edmonton or maybe not even in Mountain Time. So my, my current plan, I believe our class starts at 3.30 p.m. And I think what I wanna do is have a second class at 7 a.m. Mountain Time. So I believe 7 a.m., I think it was like 7.30 p.m. in India. So hopefully, if you are um, in a different time zone, hopefully one of these two times will work for you. I will uh, later, before the semester starts, check in with the class and figure out who's going to want to come to which session so that I have some understanding of the number of students there. And similarly, we will have office hours both in normal mountain time, but also an, at another time, so that hopefully every student has a time where they can talk to myself or TA synchronously. There are a bunch of prerequisites. The most important is that you are familiar with programming. This is going to be using Python. We're going to be using Python. And in particular, we're going to be using the construct sim. So this website allows you to log on to the website and run ROS remotely. It's definitely faster if ROS is installed on your, on your personal computer, but the idea of trying to debug ROS and debug Linux installs over the internet remotely sounds like a nightmare. So instead, we're just gonna log into this website and do our projects and problems there. So you're going to have to be fluent in Python. There are some minor math and stats requirements. However, if you don't have these, or if for some reason you do not have the necessary compute, please talk to me and we'll see if we can make something work. All right, well, with that, let me just end by saying I would like to find out more about what you're interested in. So I really do want this to be a fun class and part of that's gonna be understanding what you want to do. Now, this is a video from 2015 of the DARPA Robotics Challenge. So here, um, hundreds of really smart researchers spent lots and lots of money getting these hugely expensive and custom robots to work on a complex class and a complex course. And as you can see, they're not perfect. Um, in some cases, it's a little bit embarrassing. Uh, but this is just to emphasize that robotics often fail. And what you, when you see flashy videos on the internet of robots working, what they don't tell you is how many times they try to record that video. Because it's often the case you just keep the camera running and every once in a while something will happen. So it will be a little bit easier because we'll all be in simulation. But remember that robotics is hard, but it's fun. If you have any questions about the class, please shoot me an email. Thanks.